Today, we are going to observe like a scientist. Scientists look closely and observe not to say what something is, like a rock, but to say specific things about all of the features of that rock. Like, this rock is round. A scientist is going to observe and look closely at what the thing looks like and what it's made up of. Let's take Legos for example. Everyone knows what Legos are and everyone could identify a Lego as a Lego, especially because it's printed on the brick. But we, if we look closely at the Legos, we can realize and we can observe that not all Legos are the same. These three Legos that I'm holding in my hands, they look nothing alike. And they're all for different purposes depending on what type of building that you are doing. So even though we know they're all Legos and they're all the same, we can observe how they're different, rounded edges. One is longer than the other one. They all have holes in them but their holes may be for different purposes. So we need to look carefully and think critically as a scientist would when we are observing, making observations, looking at anything new, or taking in some new information. We can easily see that these rocks are different, but if we observe them, We'll learn a lot more about what makes up those rocks and how they're different and maybe even why they're so different. We can do the same thing with leaves. We have three leaves right here and they all have pointy ends, but they're not the same color. The stems are different colors. The fronts and the bags, backs of the leaves look differently. So we can observe not just that they're all leaves, but why they could have come from different trees. Or if we're really trying to up our level of observation skills, we can take things that are very similar, like these pine cones here, and we can look very carefully and very closely and observe what is different, like this one has some sticky substance on the bottom, or the top of this particular pine cone is missing. I might notice that this pine cone on the top of it, it's very fragile and falling apart. I might notice that this pine cone is taller than this pine cone. So I can observe these different attributes of these things, even though they're very much the same, I could observe them very carefully and I could distinguish the differences between them. So even though they all may seem the same, if I look closely like a scientist, I can realize that there's differences in all of these things. And that is what it means to observe like a scientist. Not to identify what the thing is, but to look closely at what makes it the way it is. What makes these leaves the way they are? What makes the Legos the way they are? What makes the pine cones different? How can we distinguish them from each other? So, next time you are working like a scientist, make sure you take time to observe, look carefully, look closely, and I will see you on the next one. Later, scientists.